by the time we had finished recording this song, um, I was surrounded by people that were knee deep in film. And, and, and after this idea for this photo shoot, me and the director talked and said, screw it, let's do a video. When Calvin told you how big this whole thing was going to be, like right before it happened, did you believe it? Absolutely not. Well, coming from Calvin, I'm, this is a funny thing, uh, you know, Calvin likes to talk things up a lot. And he had dreamed up this video, I suppose, concept for this video. And he started getting all gung-ho and grandiose with it, <laughs> you know, uh, the way Calvin does. Some way, this guy can pull blood from a turnip. When I arrived on the set of the video, um, my first thought was, shit, does that count? I mean, is that a thought? I mean, I was just... <laughs> when I got there, uh, all the crew hadn't shown up yet, and so the set was still being built. It was a shock for for us to see these things, and, and to, but to walk in and just know that it was going to work. There was this uh, unexplainable rawness of the of the place that really captured me. But yeah, it's like it's like where the the junky phantom circus would perform. I freaked out. I mean, it's amazing to have a few meetings and, and some sketches and a script. That's one thing. But it, it, man, it's amazing. The the team, him and Sean and, and Rebecca and uh, Chase and Remy and everybody put together was just incredible. Wow, I think in one word it would be wow. When you show up and they're all there and they're all working their asses off in belief of my band and what we're doing. It was amazing to see that many people come together and put an amazing effort into this little video of ours. And everybody came together and everybody was really excited about it. I don't know if anyone else knows what that's like. And once they heard the concept, what the video was going to be about, it seemed like people were just coming out of the woodworks that wanted to be involved in it. My only prayer is that we can give back on the level that they've given to us. I didn't want to be here. They made me come. I had other things to do, but I felt sorry for Calvin. It's a really good song. What's the name of this song? This is Travis. He is the drummer for the band Male. Moon in the Daylight. And Pale. Uh, Pale. Excuse me. Uh, for the band Pale. And uh, so, what's going on here today? We are now with the lead singer of the rock band Pale. Hank Shima showed up as uh, my lead actor and um, just killed it, you know. Rob, you in there? <laughs> hey, Rob. All right, yeah. Well, hurry up. All right, he's in the pod right now, but when Rob comes out, we'll see what he knows. <laughs> anyway, we look forward to seeing you on stage, young man, and uh, playing the guitar, and uh, I like your dress. We're standing in the shade here on the tail set, and we're watching this redhead over here sucking on her lollipop. Damn, she caught us. Yeah, there was actually too much cool be could become volatile. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go find that redhead. This is Rebecca, or Becca, or if you really want to shorten it, you can just call her Cup. How are you? I've already talked to this guy. Hi, how are you? I'm in a band. <laughs> Pretty boys. This guy here is a Houston icon. We are looking. He's the first guy in the 80s to have an anti-nuke party in a warehouse. No. <laughs> Wrong guy. Nice to meet you, sir. He's like, what? Oh, all right. Okay, he's, right. He's, he's down, man. Uh -huh. And you specialize in? Uh, making art. Making art. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. How about that? Sort of, you know, art. I'm a. This is my friend Daniel. Entertainment lawyer. Light him up again. Ah. Man, he did like three turns and then flipped over the top. Wow, it looked great. You might want to choose your friends. A choose your more friends. Carefully, people. Scott Prescott, very talented guy locally. I'd never met. I met through Sean. Oh. Roy and action! MVP kind of guy. Really caught everything on fire and damn near blew us all up, but I love him. Yeah, I like 30 foot fireballs. Please don't sue. All right, don't sue us. Yeah. Don't sue. We, we basically 
are on our own out there. We're unsigned. We're, we want to show the world what an artist can do. I think this video has a lot of great potential. I, I hope that this video is a catalyst. You know, project us to the next level. That level of, of awe. I just don't see it getting stopped. It was a blast. We're going to tell a story with this album and with our visual content. I think that comes across in our video. You can't get a kid in Korea or New Zealand to listen to a single tonight, but you can get them to watch a video. It puts pictures to, to what they're hearing. We can show them who we are, and they'll listen maybe then. It was quite an experience. It was great. It was completely humbling and an amazing experience. and um, it, was a, it was a little freak show. It was wonderful. I loved it. Basically, I have no idea how it happened. <laughs> I just showed up. Expect more good things. This is just the tip of the iceberg.